So, where does an evil wizard shop? Where does an evil wizard shop? Voldemort. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Corey, and he's a dyslexic wizard. <laughs> so life's tough for him. You can't spell and you can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the hell is that? Sounds like there's a giant. <laughs> How cool is that? Ah, oh, there we go. Then if I do that as well... Oh, block an end throng. All right, I got another handle to pull. Let's go. This is my speciality. Oh, that was cool. I do like that one. I bet once they're frozen, you got to smash them, I guess. Just like Elsa. <laughs> hey, Corey, thanks for coming over. No worries, kids. And the game we played today was Wizard Dark Times Brotherhood. That sounds correct. What were your first impressions? Um, so I love the concept. Like I love the concept of being a wizard, being able to create things with your hands. Like you see this in the movies and stuff. And so and and it's all the um, all the hand movements and triggers and stuff like that make different spells happen. Love the concept. Um, gameplay was a little lacking, but love the concept. Ooh. As you can hear. <laughs> hey, buddy. I say it's high time somebody. Let's go. Let's venture out into this wizarding world. That's all that matters. <laughs> Hell yeah. What do I do with it now? Just throw it over there. All right, buddy. Boom. Got to say, I have had better climb mechanics in other games. Just doesn't feel as real. And then it just does random things like that where it jumps you up. Oh, there's something going on down there. I don't know what happened to my giant though. Keeps like creeping on me. Well, let's talk about the start of the game. Mm -hmm. How does it look? It actually, lo I, I love the world they've created. It's it's quite good. I mean, towards the end of my gameplay time, they put me out into this kind of bit more of an open world where there would just seem to be a little bit more going on. There were some cool plants doing some stuff and there were some little crabs running around. Um, so I think they've, uh, from my experience, they seem to have created a really cool little world. Um, it'd be great to explore it and see how far it goes. Um, but yeah, it, it looked and felt felt great. Yeah, it's one of them. It's like it's not graphically too intense, mm. you know, too too clear or great. But I think the design of it mm. works. Do you know what I mean? You feel I, I went in there and it's like I feel like I'm in a fantasy. Novel. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You, you know, know what you, I mean? You feel like you're in a fantasy world. You feel like where you where you wear wizards, wizards, wizards should be. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Teleport. <laughs> well, that's a that's a beast. That what it is. That's dark down there. Uh, sorry, wrong one. That's what I wanted. Yes. Let's see. This guy who has a very calming voice. All right, so. Mysteries. I wonder what will... That definitely did something. <laughs> the other two? It looks pretty good. Um, it's made in Unreal. Uh, the light effects and stuff like mm -hmm. that are, are, are pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, find yeah. yourself in a dark place. You do your first spell that you, mm. you light your fire. So let's talk about the gestures, because mm -hmm. you seem to have the same problem that I had, which I assume that possibly a lot of people are having, mm. where it gives you the tutorial... Mm -hmm. you're able to do it mm -hmm. as soon as the tutorial goes off the screen and you're in battle mode. Yeah. It goes out the window. And a few of the gestures seem to be relatively similar. So I will go to create a shield, for example, 
and a fireball will pop out <laughs> or something like that, you know what I mean? And so well, that happens to dyslexic wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Impudent ones too. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, it's, I think there's the, there's just that, and that's when I talk about the gameplay, I guess I've played some other games that are relatively similar, walking through, um, walking through worlds and interacting with that world. And I think this one, just the mechanics of that kind of like the spell creation, the climbing and stuff like that was just a little bit off. There we go. Let's see if it can block this. That's a useful one. All right, these guys are intense. That's better. That's the one. Stay down. Got some target practice there for me. <laughs> uh, let's do that one again. Uh, wrong one. That's better. I feel like they're warming me up here for something. I'm going to have to do some shooting in a second, aren't I? Fundamentally, the concept is great, as I said, and the idea and the world they've created is really nice. Um, but there are obviously just some minor things that could make it slightly more immersive. Like you just feel like you're in it a little bit more soundscapes and the way the, the gestures work and stuff like that. This is, I'm not quite sure because I've only played up to around where you are and I'm not mm. sure with the gestures whether I'm doing them wrong or I'm doing them too fast because I'm in a battle and I'm excited and I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get my shield up and stuff like that. But even, even when I'm on my own, sometimes I'll try it and it's just, it won't work, it won't work, it won't work, and then mm. it works. I think my favourite thing was actually where you don't do the fireball properly and you just get this little, like, limp, little, like, nugget, red nugget that just falls out. <laughs> and I was like, that's cheeky. Oh, what is that thing? Come on, go down. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? How are you ever going to get it and beat this thing? Victorious! Karen, I did it! That's amazing. Holy crap. I didn't think I was ever going to get past that point in this game. I thought this was about to be where we ended the VR. Very disappointing for all those involved. And how were you with the, with the story? Um, I mean, so far... I, I mean, I feel like we were only just getting into the story once because I most of the, the gameplay up to that point were a few battles and stuff, and I think it was more just to prepare you to step into this world a little bit more. And so I'd only really just stepped into the into the into what I felt like was the real world, um, and they introduced me to the to the villain, which was the, the witch or whatever she was. Um, and, yeah, so I think, I mean, I was just starting to get the story. I understand the story, but I don't think I was that engaged by this by the story by the time I got out of the game. Yeah. Uh, and yet again, I can't talk for the whole story because I haven't played the whole game. Um, I didn't mind it. I found it a little bit like AI could have written it. Mm. it, it do you know what I mean? It was yeah, your yeah, bog yeah. Stan standard fair of fairy, which is fine because you're in that environment. But yeah. uh, I felt there could have been a tiny bit more. But look, as you progress, maybe it does get more. When you found that troll giant and you had to turn around and, and free him and he lifted up the space for you, that yeah. was like, oh, just, just as I was starting to get a bit bored, it was like, oh, here's here's something new. If it keeps doing that throughout the game, that would be cool. Um, I do wonder that if it just kind of stays the same way, it's just mm. a bit of narration, then some enemies turn up and you have to fight them a bit of narration. I wonder how frustrating it's going to get if those mm. gestures don't get better. Yet again, it could just be muscle memory. It could be us. When using Frostbow, grab it in the middle with both hands and hold down there and pull there. Okay. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. 
Yeah, they're cool. Oh yeah, there you go. It's tricky, they're building up now. There's quite a few gestures. <laughs> now I'm just doing them by accident all over the place. Something's afoot. Something is afoot. I still haven't seen my giant. The giant guy that was kind of trapped by the the um the vines that you have to release and even just little crab and the little plants and stuff like that. I just feel like it creates a slightly cooler world. Like you just feel like you're there and there's stuff going on around you. It's not just like you're walking through some walls and then you have to climb something and then a, a you know elf appears that you have to kill or whatever. It just creates it just feels a little bit more real if those like even if they're not interactable. Even if they're not something that's part of the story, but they just add a little bit of kind of fun. Well, even you said at one part, it's like, look at the way that phone's moving. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. Li little touches like that, that kind of draw, draw you into the world, which kind of, you know, which is why I wanted a little bit more from the story. It's like the world is amazing. It mm. looks great. It feels like I'm in a fantasy. Once you got the gestures on, you've got your, <laughs> your Doctor Strange kind of shield thing yeah, going yeah, on yeah. and you got your bow and you can break your bow apart. All of that is really cool when it works. And it's like I say, it may just be new, me being new to the game that I'm mm. not actually, it's, it doesn't seem to be gesturing all the time, but you are having the same problem. So I wonder, is it a game mechanic that needs to be fixed or is it, mm. is it just, you need to play it for two hours, two or three hours. Let's go. That was too close. I can do things trophy earned. That's passive aggressive. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Now there's a like landscape. What are these little things? Back to being cool again. I'm not like fighting for my life against some invincible being. Hmm. Something going on in here? Someone's been camping here. Go for a wander, shall we? See what interesting things we can find. That's cool, that fern the way that fern's moving. <laughs> it's like a the little half assed one that just pops out if you don't do it properly. Look, I feel like I'm being unduly hard on this game because I did, I did mm. like it. You know, when, when I came out of it, I was like, "That's pretty cool," but I, I was kind of like, "It's pretty cool," but it has, it has a few shortcomings that I hopefully think, they're going to start to patch. I think the reason is, is because the world is so cool. You just want it to be awesome. You want everything like the world is so cool that they've created the idea of this wizard that can gesture stuff into existence. It's such a nice concept. That you just want it to work well. Yeah, for because sure. Because if it did, it would just be the ultimate game. Like, it would be such a good VR experience. I'll call the crab Rafiki. Because he knows the way. Hey, buddy. Okay, there are some dangers out here in them these here woods. And there is multiplayer in here as well, so you can yeah, team yeah. up with two other wizards. I think I think it's three or, or maybe maybe four, mm. and you can kind of go through the world together, taking on enemies and stuff like that. Which yet again would be pretty cool. We didn't we didn't try it today. I, I feel like I've been negative, and I, mm. it, I, I I think that's it. You want you can see how great it could be, yeah. and it's just not quite there yet. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like that's oh. right. It's annoying. Yeah. Um, we must also put out that we did get a key for this game, so the developers did give us a key to review this game. Uh, Cheers, so guys. Thank, thank you, you, developers. Um, I, I, and we do love what you've done so far. Hmm. Just keep patching. Patch, patch, patch. <laughs> oh, what is this? You carry lines. I can't move through these vines. Please take them off me. All right, so if I go... And then, bang. No, not those ones. Oh, wrong one, sorry. There you go, buddy. You're cool. Oh, hi. Back now. You're gonna help me. High five. Ah. <laughs> That's what it feels like to die.
Um, we do have a spare key to give away. It is for North America. So if you're one of our American audience watching, if you list down below who is the Dark Wizard from Lord of the Rings, then we'll get that key to you. Answer down below in the comments. First person to answer wins. I'd like to say memberships are now live on the channel. So if you want to see Corey's full playthrough of Wizards Dark Times, then for the price of a cup of coffee, you can join up and have hours and hours of VR goodness. Not just Corey, but all my other friends playing the VR games. Hours and hours of me trying to do gestures. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay, so we do this at the end of every virtually real. Corey, this game is $37.95. You know how we do this? One thumb for game, one thumb for if you would buy and if you want to play. What are your th what are your thumbs? Well, uh, to the developers, keep developing and fix some of those kind of little bugs. And I think I would give this two thumbs up because I really, really want it to work. I really kind of love the concept. I'm going to give it two thumbs as well. They've already put out a patch and they've also also put out a roadmap saying that we're going to improve it here and here. So they're, they're, they're working on it. They're not just leaving it. To, yeah, perfect. And, and if they get the, for me, it's just the gestures. If they get the gestures fixed, the rest of the game, I, I'll put up with the AI story. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the developer guy that wrote the story is like, Wah! it's like shutting Chat GTP. <laughs> hey, Chat GTP writes all of this show for us. <laughs> We're not even here. <laughs> this is my AI chatbot. All that's left to say is thank you, Corey, for coming over and being a wizard. My pleasure. Thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. Bye. Bye. So wizards don't fart. No? No, they cast smells. <laughs>